in this lesson uh, let's talk about standard electron potential when copper solid copper iron half cell is used to determine electrode potential of other half cell then it is referred to as the reference cell when another half cell is used as a reference when another half cell is used as a reference cell then different electrode potentials are obtained Therefore, to obtain standard electrode potentials, to obtain standard electrode potential, hydrogen has been chosen as the reference cell. Is the reference cell? hence referred to as standard half cell it's referred to as standard half cell this cell comprises of hydrogen gas bubbled in solution of hydrogen ions since physical factors affect electrode potential, temperature, pressure, and concentration are also standardized. Standards are temperature of 25 degrees Celsius, pressure of one atmosphere and concentration is standardized to be 1.0 molar below is a diagram of standard hydrogen half cell so the diagram standard hydrogen half cell Good. So we have this oscillation the arrays platinized platinum then we bubble 
hydrogen gas in a solution of one molar hydrogen ion the aqueous solution the hydrogen half cell is represented as platinum hydrogen gas one molar platinum is platinum is used as the electron and its function include functions of platinized platinum the first function act as an inert metal connection between hydrogen gas and uh, its own ions another function because of its porous nature increases surface area for equilibrium between for the equilibrium between hydrogen and its ion to be established much faster between hydrogen gas and its ion to be established much faster so that is the hydrogen gas in equilibrium with the hydrogen ion. The standard hydrogen cell is assigned electron potential of zero. Therefore, the electrode potential of any metal is taken as the difference in the potential between the metal electrode and the standard hydrogen electron. Therefore, electrode potential obtained when the hydrogen half cell is connected to another half cell is referred to as standard electron potential is referred to as
standard electron potential. and is abbreviated as E0. Therefore, standard electrode potential is defined as is defined as the potential difference for a cell comprising of a particular element in contact with one molar solution of uh, its on ions and the standard hydrogen electron. That is the definition of a standard electrode potential. It is noted that if the element electrode has a greater tendency to ionize or lose electrons when in contact with its ions than the hydrogen, then the electrode potential is negative. So, for elements that are more reactive than hydrogen, They give negative electron potential in reference to hydrogen. However, if the element has a lower tendency to ionize in contact with its ions than hydrogen, then the electron potential is positive with respect to hydrogen electrode, hence the potential will be positive. However, for less reactive elements, compared to hydrogen give positive electrode potential
The standard electrode potentials are normally referred to as standard reduction potential. Good. The standard electrode potentials are normally referred to as reduction electrode potential. Uh, let's have a look at a table showing a summary of uh, a different electrode potential and uh, half reactions that is for different substances. So this is the reduction of reactions and the electron potentials. So we have this is the weakest reducing agent. This side we have strongest, they are more reactive, so they are the strongest reducing agents. On the other hand, we have strongest oxidizing agent that is the one that above hydrogen then weakest oxidizing agent Negative standard electrode potential means that the element is a stronger reducing agent than hydrogen to any other element with a, a positive E0 value. Positive means that the element is a stronger oxidizing agent. As you can see, for sodium, it is a negative 2.71, and that of hydrogen is 0. So, sodium is a, a stronger reducing agent, but weak oxidizing agent. When two of cells are combined or connected, then... Uh, uh, we shall realize a different E values. For example, the two half cells, if you look at this setup, or uh, this diagram, the two half cells that will give uh, the greatest E value is between greatest or largest E value It will be between fluorine and lithium. Since fluorine is the strongest oxidizing agent, 
and lithium is the strongest reducing agent. So there's a big difference between the two ions, and that's why uh, they give uh, the highest E value. That is all about standard electrode potential.